there are a lot of myths in, in science. Scientists are geniuses. Scientists work alone. Scientists' experiments work every time. Scientists uh, use the scientific method, this peculiar way of thinking. And unfortunately, because of the stories we tell, often the impression is that scientists are white men. I think the conclusion about our scientists' geniuses really is that some are, but certainly not all, and no one is a genius all the time. There was a really prominent myth when I was younger that you kind of had it or you don't. But, you know, the world doesn't really work like that and neither does science. The second myth is that scientists' experiments work all the time because we don't have time to tell you about the failures. When I was in college, I spent the summer after my junior year working on a project in the laboratory. I felt I couldn't ask anyone for help. And so, perhaps not surprising, nothing worked. I failed completely for the entire time. Even scientists that have a Nobel Prize, they do experience failures and there are times when they would have been like, I don't want to do science anymore. It's just part of the normal business of doing science. Most of your experiments are not going to work, uh, but when they do, it's a beautiful thing. Scientists work alone. Well, here are all the pictures of the people that were involved in our paper on GFP showing it was a marker. Uh, there were five of us. It was a team effort. It's always been a team effort. I think that the discoveries come before the hypotheses. GFP is a very good example. He's going to clean up, takes all the samples, he throws them in the sink, and he turns off the light, and he's about to leave the lab when he looks back at the sink and is startled by the fact that it's glowing brightly remarkable number of discoveries come about uh, without a plan behind them. It's what one does with the discoveries afterwards. If you go online today and ask for most cited scientists, you get this group of pictures. All the past examples of great scientists in the past, except for very rare exceptions, Marie Curie, George Washington Carver, are white men. When somebody says the word scientist, you see the cartoon with the white man with white hair, and um, but I feel that that's definitely changing. In contrast to that, I want to show you a picture of the people that have come through my lab. They come from Chile, Canada, Peru, Colombia, China, Iceland, the Gambia. Why shouldn't we get as many ideas as possible when we're trying to address a problem? <music>